BBOT. When I think about the future of TV and the future of entertainment, to me it's all about screens. It's about the TV screen, it's about the smartphone, it's about the laptop, the tablet. The television show is now not just what you're watching with your eyes, but what you're scrolling with with your fingers while you're watching the show. I can have a richer, deeper engagement with actually what I'm watching and generationally speaking, it, it will enhance the story, not distract me from the story. I'll follow something that has meaning and uh, integrity to any platform, whether it's online or on the television or in my pocket. I believe the stat I heard at the TBOT is that 86% of people at any given time are using either a tablet or a smartphone while watching TV. We're going to go wherever the eyeballs are. If the eyeballs are on that second screen, we need to be there. We need to be wherever people are spending their time. I think more and more we're going to see entertainment created from the ground up, thinking about all these different types of media uh, and how they interrelate. If you can get in development, if you can be at the seed of an idea while that idea is being thought about for its different applications across platforms, you can actually produce or program what's going to go on television, what's going to go on the iPad, what's going to go on the iPhone, what's going to go online as you're conceiving the stories. As we move from very rudimentary visions of what interactive television could be, you know, multiple plot lines and story endings, to a much more robust uh, ver vision, which could include uh, constant dialogue with the audience, moving through a long-term storyline that unfolds only over time as both the broadcaster and the, the audience realize its potential. I think that's a brand new thing, and we will be many years exploring the potential. We had a crowd on the internet of thousands of people, tens of thousands, uh, creating the concept for the show, uh, coming up with the characters, uh, the setting, the backstory, and eventually getting involved in every single episode, you know, kind of scripting out what the plot of every episode was about, uh, and then voting on their favorite ideas, which we then give to a professional production team and actually shoot, and then put on the air a few weeks later. And we're certainly seeing the growth of interactive entertainment, and not just people interacting with stories, but people getting much more interactive and social in how they learn about new pieces of TV or new movies. And I'm um, talking about, in my panel today, real time, and how real time is going to start to infiltrate television platforms, and how important that is as it really is what's feeding the machine right now with status updates and Twitter and all the activity happening out there with APIs online. You know, these are people that I think you know, want to be a little bit more engaged. They want to lean forward, um, not just you know, with the television show, but also with other people uh, in a creative endeavor. Oh, the use of Twitter, Facebook, social media that allow the audience to comment and directly influence the stories that they are seeing on television, in series content, and in films, that is a new model of dialogue between viewers and broadcasters that we are still exploring, and I think it will take many years to fully explore. You have another way to get people to spend time with you. With linear TV broadcasting, you only have so many hours in the day that somebody can watch you. But if they are spending their time on another device, we want them to spend that time with us. The smartphone space is just going to continue to grow. It's showing all the, the signs of being a, a massive, massive technology for, platform. And tablets, I think, as a general, rule are, are going to outpace the cell phones in, a, in, in the short term. Some of the research we've done has said that we're going to have between 12 and 15 billion connected devices, so devices that can connect to the internet or connect to each other. We have a large number of technologies that are emerging very rapidly, you know, from social platforms to tablet computers to whatever. To me, these are all just tools, you know, and really the ideas don't start with the tools, they start with what's the creative concept that's going to capture somebody's imagination. Right now, uh, one thing you see at this conference is that fragmentation is still a big issue for us. You've got so many different platforms out there, so it's hard for programmers to know what to do. It's hard for users to know what to do, and there's such an effort right now to get on any individual platform, it seems, that uh, it's hard to know where to put your efforts. Well, I think right now, you know, in all forms of entertainment, you know, whether it's music, games, TV, toys, there's a huge amount of experimentation going on. And these disruptive technologies, you know, are opening huge opportunities 
that right now we're all these you know little kind of tiny experiments and markets and who knows what's going to be like the next Facebook. The new models of advanced real-time advertising and targeting that will allow us to generate higher CPMs and, and higher revenues from these television programs that we'll be experiencing in all these different ways. We need to realize those revenues so that we can support this ecosystem. We've moved past that point where people are all in their own sandboxes. I think we're, we're actually at the point now where people are starting to work together very coherently and, and building business plans that work. In a platform like interactive television, uh, we're, we're still uh, very much at the uh, dawn of creation, as it were, and so we're waiting to see what, uh, what uh, really gets uh, the viewer's attention before we try to establish standards. So I think that we're kind of in the Cambrian explosion of entertainment. And you know we tend to think of these very traditional, you know, that's television, that's a game, that's a movie. Uh, I think those barriers, in some sense, are going to be breaking down. People are going to be into their, you know, their favorite properties. I'm into Star Wars or Lost, and I don't really care what kind of device I'm consuming. Uh, I want to do all range of experiences. I want to play with it. I want to watch it. I want to talk about it. Uh, I think that, uh, in some sense, all this stuff is interbreeding in a really kind of interesting way.